Okay, the last episode was wild, especially the last few minutes. This season was incredibly solid and I really enjoyed it. Wouldn't say it's my favorite one, but it was still awesome and a great watch. I will start by talking about the season and what happens with the characters before moving on to talk about the finale and some other things. With all that being said, let's get started with the warning that there will be spoilers in this video. Thank you. This has probably been the most depressing season for our characters, with pretty much all of their plans failing or going wrong in some form. One example that comes to mind is the infiltration of the house party with all the rich people, where Huey goes through, let's just say, a lot. MM also has a panic attack and Adrian has to go drop him at the hospital, while Annie has to drop Firecracker, again. Sure, they were able to get some valuable information, but Huey and MM were not that far off from just dying. Obviously, for most of the show, their plans never work as intended, but this season just felt like they kept being punched down time and time again. Besides all this, Butcher spent the entire season mentally visualizing his dead wife and, spoiler alert for people that haven't watched the entire thing, a former friend of his that died, something we discover in the second half of the season. By the way, Jeffrey Dean Morgan is such an amazing actor. Oh my god, he absolutely carried the show whenever he was on screen. And while his wife is the angel on his shoulder, this friend is a demon, like the personification of whatever he has inside of him that gives him his powers, that we also get to see on full display in the last episode, in a very gruesome way. He spent the entire season dying from his use of Compound V, and when Ryan chooses not to help him defeat Homelander, he gives in to this entity. And this entity wants to kill every soup no matter what, no matter how many lives are lost. And his first true victim is Victoria Newman, an absolutely vicious kill from him. Huey goes through a lot this season, like a lot lot, from seeing his dad have a stroke and being practically dead, to seeing his mom for the first time since he was a kid, to reconnecting with her and using Compound V to get him back, although he actually decided not to but dropped the flask and his mom used it. His dad makes a full recovery to losing most of his memories and starts accidentally killing people then purposefully killing them and when he's about to kill Huey's mom, Huey risks his life to stop him and bring him back to reality. After all this, he creates a concoction to help him pass away. Let's take a deep breath, because even more fucked up shit happens after this. He chooses to help Kimiko and has to kill someone to literally survive that encounter, he goes undercover to a party and has to take part in a weird sex thing where he sits on a cake, is shackled and forced to be part of some weird sex fetishes before his cover being blown and almost tortured to death. After all of this, the shapeshifter is able to turn into Annie while locking her away, has sex with him multiple times and forces a proposal, the crazy sociopath. Now keep it in mind that all of this happens while he also has to deal with Homelander and Newman trying to take over the country which is the main threat. All characters go through hard times this season, but man, Huey probably had it worse than anyone this season. Annie also had a rough time of things, with her abortion being outed, her foundation getting undermined and vandalized, her family disowning her because of the abortion, and beating Firecracker on national television. All of this made her struggle, and she kind of lost control of her powers, not being able to use them properly for most of the season. And at the end of the season, getting locked away by a shapeshifter while knowing that she, or he, we don't know exactly who, was living her life and literally having sex with her boyfriend. The point of the shapeshifter was to make it look like Annie was the one to kill the president on camera, part of Sage's plan. Frenchie was pretty much in a relationship with a man he knew that he had killed a family of. It feels a bit distasteful to create a plot like this. I vibed with Colin's character and it feels very weird to do something like this. I understand that he can't run away from his past and can't forgive himself and all that. On paper it sounds like a strong plot point, but doing something like getting into a relationship with a person that you know you killed this family is kind of very fucked up. It was unnecessary and it felt off. I really liked Frenchie, but this entire arc was spoiled by this weird creative decision. Kamiko had a similar type of arc, with this girl she knew from her time in the fighting pits chasing and trying to kill her, and it was much better handled. It's not like she forgave herself, but she has moved on and chose to do good in her life. She's not the same person, and it's not worth it to halt your life and stay in that dark pit, the choice Frenchie did by turning himself in, knowing that the team needed him, Kamiko needed him. Kamiko is just an amazing character, and Karen Fukuhara is fantastic. To finish off the boys, let's talk about MM, who had the impossible task of leading this ragtag group of misfits this season. 
It's just really hard, isn't it? This man is just done with the entire world. He just wants his daughter and the mother of his child to be safe. And I wish he had got onto that plane. The worst mistake he ever made was staying. But being an absolute unit, he stayed back and kept trying to make the world a better place. Last of all, A-Train really went on to have just the most fulfilling character arc of the entire show, didn't he? From being the person who caused the entire show to happen, pretty much irredeemable, to a genuine hero and saving the boys. Just amazing. Now for the other side of the fight, Homelander keeps just being one of the greatest villains of all time, with the character writing and Anthony Starr just shining all around. The MVP of the season has to be Sage though. She is literally the catalyst for everything that happens in this season. Homelander owes everything to her. She just did it to see if she could, it's unbelievable. She's a goat, there's no doubt about it. The Deep was as funny as ever alongside Black Noir, with this new guy just being so funny as well. Both of them were really good and the perfect comic relief for what was a very serious season. Firecracker was pretty entertaining and just the perfect lapdog for Homelander. Newman was really powerless this season, nowhere near as threatening as before. But with the position our character was in, it was doomed from the start. Stan Edgar made an appearance, and every time I get to see Giancarlo Esposito on screen, I cheer and cherish it, with his current location being unknown at this time. Interesting to see what this character will do next season. Let's now talk about the finale. Homelander gets what he wants, with the president being caught on camera having said he ordered Newman to be assassinated, and the new president is going to be a puppet of his. Butcher kills Newman and gets what he wants, the virus, which helped Homelander, because Sage is just that good, although Butcher, with that virus, might just kill Homelander. We'll have to wait and see. Now let's talk about the last few minutes. What the hell? Frenchie is taken away by some characters from Gen V, from what I was able to gather, with Kamiko speaking, or better, yelling for the first time ever on the show, in a chilling scene. Huey and Annie are stopped by that weird girl that can crush things from a few seasons back, with Annie getting away. M.M. gets caught by the dude with a tentacle in the bathroom, just about to get away. Butcher, being taken over by whatever is inside of him, has a virus that can kill any soup, and maybe just all of them. And Homelander discovers that Soldier Boy is still alive. The bad guys have won, and anything is game going on to the last season of the show. The overarching themes this season were forgiveness and redemption. In forgiveness we had the likes of Huey forgiving his mom, while Kimiko and Frenchie were dealing with their pasts, with Frenchie refusing to move forward and wanting to suffer consequences for his actions, while Kimiko also couldn't forgive herself but chose to move forward and try to do good. In Redemption we had Butcher and A-Train, with Butcher doing a lot of things this season that showed quite a bit of growth, like going back on his deal with Newman to clean the dirt the boys had on her, sending her instead a photo of his uh, rectum. Oh, for fuck's sake. Butcher really tried to do the right thing as much as possible, but ultimately he reverted to an earlier version of himself by the end of the season. A-Train started working with the boys as an informant to try and do some good, to become the hero he always wanted to be, and that moment when he dropped M.M. at the hospital and that kid smiled at him was the biggest reward he could have ever had. In both themes we have some characters who succeed at it and some who don't, and I'm sure maybe other characters also fit into these uh, themes, but those were the ones who stood out to me this season. And maybe there were even other themes that I didn't quite pick up on, but these were the most noticeable to me. The arc I disliked the most, and I've already talked about it before in this video, was Frenchie's arc. The whole thing of dating someone knowing he killed their family feels gross and I didn't enjoy it. But that's really my biggest nitpick. As for my favorite one, I would have to go for Huey's arc with his parents. With his mom coming back he learned to forgive, even to an extent with Adrian as well, and with his dad he finally learned to let go. The whole episode where his dad woke up was probably the highlight of the season, with some top notch character writing and acting from everyone involved with Simon Pegg getting an honorable mention for being awesome. With his mom, it was more of a slow burn but very rewarding, getting to know her and understand why she left, and while what she did was awful and there's no explanation that could excuse her, he still chose to forgive. It was just a very beautiful arc all around. We now have to wait two long years before we see the conclusion, which could make a grown man cry. This ending was goaded and couldn't have made the fans more eager to see what happens next. Going to the next season, which will be the last one, Huey, Frenchie and M.M. are locked up, while Annie, Butcher and maybe Kimiko are free. A big doubt about the last one though. Ashley is also a big question, because we don't know what happened to her after she took the V, but it looked aggressive. Atrin is safe as far as we know, and will have a vital role in the next season. Maeve might make a return, I can definitely see that happen with Homelander now being in power and all. Ryan is still a wildcard and will remain so going into the last season especially after killing Mallory. 
But the biggest question of all is Soldier Boy. What will he do in Season 5? Will he team up with Homelander or Butcher or do it his own way? Who knows? Probably not even the writers know at this time. The script might not even be finished at this point, so anything is possible. Whatever happens though, everyone will be watching, because this is one of the biggest shows right now and one of the best ones this decade. Anyway, that's about it. See ya.